jackboot thug pigs. Total, you're a total puss, bro. Thank you. Bring her in here. But you serves our country, so I should ollie ollie baba bow down and suck your dick, right? Right? You brought your jerk off fantasy home from the Middle East right to here. That's what you did. You dumb f***s like you get 10 grand a month to come home from the Middle East and attack people here. Why don't you research the cuffs you're wearing on your f***ing back, buddy? Research the cuffs you're wearing. Delaware Colony, 1638, the sweet slaves. And you still de-escalate. Step back. Okay, don't walk up and get in my face and put your body on mine. I'm as strong as you are, bud. De-escalate. I don't think so, dude. Back down. De-escalate. I don't think so. De-escalate. If you don't leave these kids alone. I can say whatever I want. These kids Touch me again. You keep on bumping into me, Touch bro. Me. You're such a beta male chump, bro. You are such a beta male chump. De-escalate. I don't think so, dude. Back down. De-escalate. I don't think so. De-escalate. If you don't... My shorts cover. Yes. Total, you're a total puss, bro. Jackboot thug pigs. Look me up, dog. Don't engage my driver. Back up. Hey, back up. Back up. You're not involved. Oh, I see. Oh, gotcha. You can film, but you need to stay away from my driver. Back up. Back up or I'm going to detain you. You're going to detain me how? In which way? Get away from my car stop. Actually, I'm standing right here. I'm at least 10 feet away, officer. i got to tell you, I'm a constitutional law scholar. Okay. Just understand something. Listen. Your name will go on the law. Mind your own private business. business. This is not Mind your business. business. I'm a member of the press. Go get in your car and do your job, little doggy. Go feed her. Okay. You're being detained right detained. now. Over my car. Ah, come over to my car. Come over to my car. Don't touch me. Don't put your come over hands on me. Listen, I am going to put my hands on you. No, you're, on you're you. not. Control through armor one. I got to make sure. Hey guys, make sure you guys get my get my people on the phone. I have an obstructed male here. Who's, uh, oh, this is me. so you so ended the stop, you dunce cap. Did you just did you just end the stop? So that's yes, the 2015. Yes. Game. Come over here to my car. Yeah. Come over here. No. Yeah. I need additional units. I need this obstructive. Bring your thanks. Don't come over to the car. I am going to grab you. Don't you are going to go to the ground. Listen, you're you are not, detained right now. No, first get your supervisor out here. You're not just I don't need a code red, but he's wrong. I just need additional units. You've already released him. This is 2015, Rodriguez versus United States. Come over to my car. I'll walk right in front of your car. I'm off to work. You're being detained for obstruction. You need to set the phone down on the hood. I'm a constitutional law scholar. You can't take away my phone. Set the phone down on the hood. You're being detained. You're being the, you're, now you're gonna put hands on me. No, no, wh Come over here. Why are you why are you grabbing me? Come over here to the car. Sure, sure, sure. sure. You, uh, let it roll. Over here. Let the phone roll. I don't what, care about what, the why phone. Why are you grabbing Turn me? Turn around. I'm a Turn member around. of the press. Turn around. I'm not doing anything. You're being detained right now. Turn around. Get your supervisor. Stop. Stop. Well, hold on. Wait, wait. wait. Stop. I'm, are your cameras on? Are your cameras on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, then, then don't put your hands behind your back. No. You're going in handcuffs. Why? Put your hands why? behind your back. Can you wait, can we slow down? Get a supervisor. I haven't done anything no, wrong. Put your hands behind your back. I haven't done anything wrong. Don't make me use some If you want to detain me, then put detain me I am me putting here. you in handcuffs. But I'm not putting my hands behind my You're back. You're facing the hood. I'm, I'll, I'll face around. the hood. I'll policy I'll, to put it behind, don't listen, be behind your back. For, right but, now, but, you're going to get a but, ticket. For what? If you do not put your hands behind your back, you're going to jail. Put your hands behind your back. Can I turn my do camera around to face me? No. Can we agree on that? No, things? I don't know if you have any weapons. I don't have any weapons. Stop reaching. There's no weapons on me, guys. Stop I'm a journalist. Reaching. I'm a constitutional Listen. law scholar. You extended Listen. a stop to, to, to... Put your hands behind your back or you're going to jail. For, I'm placing you in handcuffs right now. For what Turn reason? Turn around. For officer safety, right? Turn around for officer safety. Okay. Is the camera still running, guys? The camera's still running? I'm I don't facing care. your car like I you're don't asking care. me to do. I don't care about the camera. Put your hand behind your back. Do not reach for this phone. And what you're doing to me is all, is your body cam running? Yeah. It's all being documented though. That it's telling good. me I'm on drugs, telling me that you think I'm crazy, that I want to fight you, all this crazy shit you've been saying. Yeah. Telling me that you're going to pound my car and steal my dog. I'm doing what? what? Take custody of your Actually, animal control. Man. For doing what? For filming a cop? Well, you can't leave your animals unattended inside of a vehicle. I wasn't. I was 10 crime. feet away from my dog. That's unattended inside of a vehicle. That is against the law. Stop squeezing my arm. No, 
out because you can turn people around. And you've already told them to make sexual uh, acts upon you? Absolutely not. What kind of beta male cuck are you, dude? Like, really? Like, this is ridiculous. Can I get two seconds of breath on my nerve that you're squeezing? No. Please? No, because I don't Not want you to fall. Squeeze, dude. He's been squeezing no. it for a long time. Please just let go for two seconds so I can get some blood to... There. Jesus. Just let the blood go through for one second, dude. I'm not encircling your entire arm, you, so that is physically impossible. You're squeezing my nerve impossible. on my elbow, dude. There's no, no reason for yeah, you to do well, this to me. You're facing me. Again, dude, face I, the vehicle. I, I'm not, Whenever you move, Sorry, that so how far away would I get? Reaction. How far would I get? We're running the cuffs. Ten feet? Ten Probably feet? until you fall. Five which, feet? Which is what we're trying to mitigate. How far would I get before you have me? Come on, dude, just stop squeezing my nerves. It's Absolutely. just so wrong. You're hurting me, man. There's no reason to do that to me. Yeah, when you continually turn away from the vehicle after being instructed not to, dude, I can't that's go the anywhere. reason. There's five cops and six and guns here. We, clearly, we are not worried about you evading. We are clearly you worried about you that. falling and hitting your head in handcuffs. I'm not going to go anywhere. You said clearly you're not well, afraid you don't of me. Listen. You, ha you don't give me no confidence that you're not going to do that. This guy just hurt me. Just sitting here hurting me while I'm in touch. I wouldn't even have to touch you if you just listen. You don't have to touch me. You're just hurting me. Well, when you, you don't can. listen, and I do have to. Full-grown men are not saying, "Dude, just let go of him." Like that's what's amazing. Do you know why yes, we have cops? Do you know why? Because when I get this body cam footage and I show it, all three of you could say to him, "Let go of him, dude. No. You're just torturing him." And, but you're and not I'll doing be, it. And if and all our policy is public records, and you can see where it's it says, "Once you are in handcuffs, we must hold on to you so you don't fall and hit your head." Dingle. Little, I mean, Did you uh, request animal control? I mean, isn't it just, you're just an embarrassment to manhood, bro. You're sitting here hurting another man because he's incapacitated. It's so wrong, dude. It's so wrong. Like, there's something wrong with you, bro. Tiny dick syndrome something wrong or with something. You. When you can't really? listen to simple commands, that is an issue. You're hurting my elbow still. Stop moving. I'm not going anywhere, dickhead. Well, I'm worried. Like I, I told you multiple times, I'm not worried about you going anywhere. I'm worrying about you hurting now you're yourself. Squeezing myself even, you're squeezing me because even you harder. Because you continually move away. Dude, there's two cops over there. There's Swanson over here. I'm it's aware of that. Torturing me, dude. I'm not torturing you. I'm holding on to you, which my policy says I must do. I can't wait till you get fired for this, dude. I may go to jail and my car and my dog and all that stuff. I can't wait till you get fired and for this. And when you get out of here, you might want to educate yourself on case law precedence, which right. says... That when we're in a public arena like you this stop is, squeezing, and dude. we tell you stop to go, squeezing. now you're pulling away. You're squeezing me, bro! Ow! You're my shoulder. What are you <laughs> because doing? Because you just yanked away from me. You're hurting my fucking arm, dude. You're cutting off the hey, blood supply. Stop, stop it, dude. Yeah. Stop okay. it. Okay, dude. Okay, stop, dude. Stop. We try, you, we try to be uh, peaceful what are you, what with are you, you. doing? Now you're gonna go in the back of the hand, the car That's because. That's my car key, dude. Okay. Okay. Well, he's pulling away from me, so let's get I'm him inside not, the car. He can do his interview in there. You're squeezing my arm too hard. You're such a baby. Dude. Walk this way, sir. You're such a baby. Don't, don't, don't hurt me anymore. Stop hurting me. <laughs> you keep pulling you away from me. Don't need to do that to me. Sit I'll, inside I'll, the vehicle. I'll sit in the vehicle. Let go of my shoulder. Absolutely not. Sit I'm gonna sit in. Let You're gonna rotate. You're gonna have a seat now. Sit inside the vehicle. You're so fucking tough, bro. You're so tough. Well, you got me in this torture cuff position. Put the feet inside You're the car. Thank bitch, you. Bro. You're such a fucking bitch, dude. Ow! You're, why are you putting that on, dude? Well, so you don't win if we get an accident. You're you don't me. crash no, and hurt I yourself. I need these. I, I need my glasses. Absolutely not. No. Don't stop. Lean back, sir. Why are you taking my... I can't see. Well, I can't see. You're dude. in good custody, sir. Just hang tight. Jackboot thug pigs. I mean, we should work it out here on the side of the road so I don't have to see you guys. I already have five lawsuits going. I don't want to do another one, but I'll do it. You know, it's it's wrong to arrest me and keep... I mean, I didn't cause any damage. There's no 
other than the ego being bruised, you know, and maybe well, a, a lesson being learned. I don't on both think anyone's ego is bruised. You, you well, refuse I mean, to listen to the officer. He's trying to do his job on the car stop, and you're getting involved. You put yourself in the middle of that. But do you think I should be arrested and taken to jail and have to face charges? And like, I mean, it's, it's a little too much, isn't it? Like, that, well, guy, obviously, I'm in torture cuffs. I'm in pain. The guy tortured me for 20 minutes. Like. It's pretty much a wash at this point, but charging well, me with crimes and having me go through this whole... And then suing you guys, it's going to cost you guys a hundred grand to defend it, and I don't want to do that. I would rather just... I already have enough lawsuits, but I'll do it if I have to. Well, when, when does it end? We gave you plenty of opportunity to, to get back. And this is the Jack Boo Thug Pig teaching that pig how to be a pig. Fat, lazy pig. That told me to back up. I backed up a little bit. Then he said, she deserves privacy. And then I told him to go get your car, little doggy, and write your ticket. Look me up, dog. Based on his proximity to my driver, based on his demeanor being argumentative, based on his physical demeanor, his veins were popping out of his neck as he was yelling at me. You can see his veins popping out of his neck from your back where your vehicle is. When I was at the driver's side window, I could see that, but not in my car. So when you see him walking out from your car, what is your specific concern regarding officer safety at that point in time? Well, it's, it's my safety and the safety of the driver. I don't know who this person is. I've never met him before. He could be peaceful, he could be violent, I just don't know. There's so many unknown factors. And I also have a responsibility to protect that driver. If I were in that driver's position, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to be approached by some random person recording me, interviewing me. De-escalate. Back down. And did you explain to the officer that um, you have a background in constitutional law? Yes, I told him I'm a constitutional law scholar, which was a moniker given to me by other people who are also, they have their own channels, their own press, and that's what some other lawyers on another channel called me three years ago. De-escalate. Eat my shorts, copper. Yes. The state uh, asks you to find the defendant guilty of both the obstructing a public officer as well as resisting a public officer charged against him. Um, the video very adequately portrays, and I don't think it's disputed by the defendant, um, the, what the context was of the interaction with the officer. Um, I would venture to say that had the defendant just complied with the original order to not engage with the driver and to back up, we wouldn't be here. He wouldn't have found himself further engaging with Officer Moore. Um, this is not a First Amendment issue. Um, as you heard over and over and over again um, on, on the video, Officer Moore did not have a problem with the defendant recording. It was a, it's, not a, it's not a First um, Amendment issue, it's an officer safety issue. Um, here, you have an officer who conducted a lawful traffic stop. You saw the nature of the stop. There was no animosity between the officer and the driver. It was rather peaceful. They were engaged, banter back and forth. Um, he would have, he, as he testified, he was trying to determine whether he was going to cite her or let her go with a warning. Um, and then you have an individual, the defendant, introduce himself to a situation. Traffic stops, Your Honor, are inherently dangerous, particularly in, in crowded parking lots. Uh, I guess anywhere, you know, I would venture to say. This officer had, was reasonable in thinking that anyone who would approach in the manner that the defendant approached um, this his scene um, would have a reason to fear for his safety or at least be suspicious of this individual's motives coming in. The officer had no problem with the recording. The officer had no problem with the defendant observing. It was when he inserted himself into this lawful detention that was occurring with the Hyundai driver that the officer turned his attention. Jackboot thug pigs. All right, Mr. DeCastro, please stand. The problem with the argument that your attorney makes is it completely fails to consider the safety of the officer and the safety of the driver. The officer doesn't know who you are, and the driver doesn't know who you are. And you don't have any right to interfere with that officer doing his investigation and deciding if he wants to issue a ticket to this driver. And you are also don't have any business approaching the driver. The driver didn't ask you for help. The driver didn't say, help, help, you know. You didn't see an altercation happening between the officer and this driver. Um, 
The officer didn't protest that you were filming. There's no problem with filming. You can film. It's fine. All right? But you did interfere with his investigation. You did interfere with his ability to do his job. You did put him in a position where he is concerned for his safety and the safety of the driver. So I believe the state's met their burden beyond reasonable doubt. I'm going to find you guilty of obstructing a public officer and resisting a public officer. So I'd like to hear from the state and then your attorney prior to sentencing. Your Honor, in terms of sentencing, I would ask um, that our uh, defendant enter and complete a, um, an impulse control class. I would ask that the court lobby a $500 fine or the equivalent in community service. I would ask that the defendant be ordered to stay out of trouble um, for the pendency of the case. Um, and I would ask for a 90-day suspended sentence. And that's on as to each count to one concurrent. That's our request. Right, thank you. Your Honor, I'm asking the court to sentence the defendant to credit for time served for these offenses. Um, even if the court concludes, and, and the court did conclude that he didn't have the right to do what he did, um, I, I think the court can see that he sincerely believed uh, that, that he had the right to do so. Um, that, that's based on his past experiences and the, the training he's received in reference to the First Amendment. Um, I don't think there was any intent from the defendant to engage in any wrongdoing in this case, Your Honor. Um, and that being the case, especially because of the public policy interests at, at issue. So when you say he doesn't wish to engage in any wrongdoing, it seems to me from observing him in the video that he wants he wants this. He wants to get arrested. He wants to get into an altercation with police officers. He welcomes this. This helps his YouTube channel. He called the officers here in my courtroom to take pigs. He called the, and he's not his head up and down. I so apparently he hates every law enforcement officer in the United States. All right. Please stand up, sir. Are you finished with your request for credit for time, sir? Um, I, I would just emphasize, Your Honor, that the defendant testified and he sincerely believes that he is providing a public service um, when he reviews and films these incidents. Um, I understand the court may have a different view of that, but when we're talking about First Amendment public policy issues such as um, supervising uh, people involved in government, I, I think that is something the court can take into consideration, not to have a chilling effect on that. Right. Mr. DeCastro, please stand. I hereby sentence you to 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count one, 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count two, to run consecutive for a total of 180 days in custody. If you don't leave de escalate alone, I just say whatever I want. Sentence suspended or? Oh no, I'm going to start right now. I think you jumped, Silla. Look me that dog. Did I tear you pigs apart? See, I'm a constitutional law scholar. What I do, I put myself in a position so that I can sue your ass and put your name on a civil rights lawsuit. That's what I do. Keep walking. You're not my boss, bro. I'm yours. You're a scumbag pig. If you can just drop everything right now, you are a son of a bitch. Do you know that? You had to have these people in torture cuffs threatening their freedom, but now you're just going to run off? You son of a bitch. You better have them in torture cuffs for a god blessed good reason. You are such a slime ball. You are such a slime ball. You are such the lowest denominator of... You are crap, bro. You are dog shit, dude. You really are. If you could just run off at the drop of a hat, then it wasn't so important, was it? No, was it? Was it so important? Shut your mouth. De-escalate. I couldn't do this sober. I couldn't do this stone cold sober.